This short video is going to explain how to get to Bridal Falls, which is up here between Crab Lake and Gunflint Lake from Loon Lake Lodge, which is down here in the lower uh, left-hand corner. You'll be uh, traveling on Loon Lake Road until you get to the Crab Lake Trail. Once you get to the Crab Lake Trail, you'll follow it until you get a cut to a cutoff for the border route trail and you'll follow that over to the main part of the border route trail until you get to a little spur trail going down the Bridal Falls. Uh, the total time for this hiking trip is about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. Uh, it's an enjoyable trip. It's not too difficult. We hope you enjoy yourself uh, watching the video and we hope that you take the trip uh, once you get here. Okay, let's get started. Uh, you're going to start down in the lower left corner of the map here at Loon Lake Lodge and you're going to walk to the Crab Lake Spur hiking trail uh, which is about a quarter of a mile from the Loon Lake Lodge parking lot up Loon Lake Road, right about here. You'll be walking on an old logging road that will end up at South Lake if you followed it to its end. Just continue on down the trail. Uh, you'll start uh, getting to close to Crab Lake and when you get to Crab Lake Narrows you'll get a really nice view of Crab Lake. Continue down the trail and uh, you'll come to a sign saying that you're entering the BWCA, the Boundary Waters Canoe Area. In a little while you cross across a small stream and then you'll see a border route sign. You should go left at the border route sign. You'll now be on a footpath uh, that is somewhat rough and it'll wind around but basically you'll be heading north. Uh, stay on that path until you see a tree with multiple ribbons on it. Keep to the left at the tree with the ribbons you'll now be heading west. Because of the Ham Lake fire in 2007, much of this area is now treeless. The lake you see is the east end of Gunflint Lake. The trail is harder to follow at this point but it is marked with these rock piles and markers. As you near the falls there will be more trees and you will see a stream coming from your left. At this point you should be able to hear the falls. At the top of the falls you will see this bridge. To get down to the front of the falls, you will walk past the bridge and down the old railroad grade. The Forest Service had to use dynamite to put the flames out after the 2007 fire. As you walk down the old railroad grade you will see a number of small trails that cut off to the left. These trails will take you to the front of Bridal Falls. 
be sure to take one of the trails that cuts to the left before you reach the point shown in the following photo. The front of Bridal Falls is a great place to relax, take photos, and have a picnic lunch. It should take you between an hour and 45 minutes to two hours to walk to the falls. After spending the day hiking the Bridal Falls, many people are somewhat tired and just want to relax when they return to Loon Lake Lodge. We suggest making a dinner reservation the day or morning before you make the hike and having dinner at Loon Lake Lodge. That way you won't have to make dinner in your cabin and can truly relax the rest of the day. Plus, it gives you the opportunity to share your Bridal Falls hiking experience with other guests. We hope that you enjoyed our short video on how to get to Bridal Falls from Loon Lake Lodge and that you take the hike to Bridal Falls when you get here at Loon Lake Lodge.